What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I've got another very important AMC update to bring to all of you this evening. So what we're going to be covering in this update are almost a little bit of what I would like to call uh, not necessarily a make or break moment, but AMC is sitting at a very key level on some of the longer time frames that I want you guys to be aware of that if we do see some overall bullishness in the market, some more buying pressure coming back in, we could be in a really good spot going forward, but if we break below, well, we could be in for some more selling. Now, in addition to this, we also have to talk about the Ortex data. Uh, anything related to the option chain that we are seeing right now, including uh, the open interest, any potential for a gamma squeeze, specifically looking at that July monthly options expiration period and what the max pain is. Now, in addition to this, we also have to talk about what Credit Suisse is doing right now. Honestly, the move that Credit Suisse has just made, in my opinion, is setting them up for complete and utter failure, liquidations, and severe losses going into the future. And we're going to go over this and exactly why this is such a bad move and could end up causing a systemic rest, uh, risk to the overall market. So before we get into all of that information, if you enjoyed the information and analysis that I provide for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And I think everybody knows by now, but the apes are not leaving. So drop an ape down below in the comments to let everybody know. So when we're looking at the chart of AMC, today a minus 5.31 percent day 75 cents down definitely not what we wanted to see now overall the overall stock market the spy qqq the dow all had pretty bad days as well so those did drag down amc now what i want to draw your guys's attention to is the four hour chart on amc that we've been looking at a couple of times when we look at the chart right here we are doing what we like to call in the 1348 community rimming. So when we're looking at this 13 EMA here in blue, what we're seeing is a breakout and a retest of the 13 EMA. Now, there's a couple of scenarios that can happen here. AMC could use this level as a dynamic level of support and bounce right off. Or we could see some more selling in the market. We break that back down, back down below here, and we then use this level as a dynamic level of resistance. So we are at a very key level right here with this 13 EMA. The one thing that I really want you guys to key in on too is tomorrow is a pretty big day in the overall market. We have the GDP revision coming out and we have Jerome Powell and a couple of other big players in the global monetary policy environment speaking at the ECB conference. So we have a pretty big event tomorrow, but that could cause a lot of volatility in the overall market. But we do have this cross up right here uh, with the 1348, which is typically a sign of strength, a, a sign of bullish momentum going forward. And again, guys, uh, if you do want access to the strategy in full, all of the training curriculum videos uh, that are going to take you from zero to 100, if you know nothing about options, you can learn, you can watch the videos, technical analysis. We have the 1348 strategy broken down as well. We have all the alerts, private live streams. If you guys are interested, check out that link down below. Now, I do want to get into what is going on with the Ortex data for AMC right now. If I give this a quick refresh over here, uh, we've got 20.98% estimated short interest. Now you might be asking, how did the short interest go down if we were down today and we had a pretty significant day yesterday? Was that shorts covering? Well, we go through this every two weeks, but we did see the exchange reported short interest data released yesterday and Ortex was overestimating um, what the short interest was on the settlement date of June 15th. So it only makes sense. They have to correct their calculations. We see a slight decrease in the estimated short interest. Now we also have 186.39 million shares on loan, but cost to borrow 58%. 35% on the average and the minimum is 4.72% on the max uh, or the uh, on the minimum here. Now the max was 58%, which is very, very high. Now, in addition to this, we are seeing the option chain really start to step up. Now, is this significant right now? No, but this is something that we need to take a look, uh, keep a lookout for because as we get into this July monthly options expiration date, we have a lot of options that expire on July 15th. A lot of these out of the money calls are at the 145, which honestly, I don't really like to see a whole lot of but people are going to do whatever they want with their money but we do have a lot of puts in the money that if they do run out we could see a decent amount of delta hedging coming in which is going to add a little bit more buying pressure in addition to that russell 1000 addition now 
When we come over to the Max Payne here too, Max Payne on AMC, $13 a share this week. When we come back down and take a look back at the price, well, we're sitting at $13.38. So it's very possible that we do end up finishing around Max Payne. Um, we've seen this a couple of times. Again, this is not an exact science. This does not happen every single week or as much as people may uh, kind of proclaim it does. Um, but we do kind of see the potential for us to hover around Max Payne. So it's just something to keep a lookout for. Now, I do want to get into this credit suite situation and how this is honestly one of the craziest things that I've seen recently in the market. So when we take a look at this article from Credit Suisse here that came out today, Credit Suisse is ready for good risk opportunities, says the new chief. Swiss bank moves away from cautious approach to pursue a more profitable business. So there's a couple of things that you need to realize here. One, Credit Suisse is willing to take on more risk. And two, they are not making as much money as they thought they would. So they need to take on more risk in order to make more money. The problem is, is that over the last two years, we've seen many situations with Credit Suisse. As we can come down here, there's some recent ones here. Credit Suisse found guilty over Bulgarian, uh, Bulgarian drug money failings. Credit Suisse agrees to deal with mining group over green sill debt. Uh, they also, I believe, had a money laundering uh, judgment placed against them as well recently, if I'm not mistaken, or it was another bank. They're all bad, but it was, I believe it was Credit Suisse. The main point here is Archegos. Archegos caused Credit Suisse to lose billions of dollars. It does not seem as if they have learned their lesson at all in this situation and in this entire market. So when we come down here and take a look at the details of this, Credit Suisse is once again preparing to take on riskier business after high-profile crises had prompted the bank to adopt a more cautious approach, according to the Swiss lender's new chief risk officer. David w uh, Weldermurth, who joined from Goldman Sachs in January, said the bank was moving the pendulum back the other way after ditching riskier clients following the catastrophic events the business suffered last year. It's the second time in my career I feel I'm as much a cheerleader for taking on more risk as I am for reducing risk. The other time was right after the financial crisis, he told investors at an event on Tuesday. As I'm going out and meeting with clients and our teams, I think we do want to take smart risk, yet they've been really great at doing that in the past, where we really understand the risk. Okay, so you're a giant banking institution that doesn't understand risk? That doesn't seem like you should be in business. We are aware of the risk and we understand the detailed outcomes of the risk. Does anybody think that Credit Suisse has the ability to do this right now, or is that just me? Credit Suisse is trying to restore investors' confidence. This is definitely not the way to do it. After bruising 18 months that exposed poor risk controls, left the bank with the biggest trading loss in history and hammered its share price. And obviously, the logical thing to do after taking big losses from taking on too much risk is to say, hey, let's just take on more risk. So... What Credit Suisse is essentially doing here is seeing a couple of things. They have pulled back on the amount of risk that the bank is willing to take, but they know that they can't make enough money doing that type of business and that type of behavior uh, in the lending market or any of these prime brokerage operations that they are, or, or services that they are offering to their clients. So what they're saying now is, well, even though we completely capitulated in the past, I think we're just going to do it again in order to be competitive. This is not what you want out of a big financial institution, especially at this current time in the overall marketplace. The overall market right now is in a very shaky spot. If Credit Suisse exposes themselves and we see a market event that nobody is really predicting or something that's worse than everybody really expects, which is very still on, very much on the table at this point, this could end up causing cascading effects through the overall securities market, the bond market, the real estate market, just because Credit Suisse was basically wanting to make more money. So that is going to wrap up this situation on Credit Suisse and the whole technical situation going on right now with AMC. If you enjoyed the information and analysis that I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. So I hope you guys are having a great evening and I'll see you guys in the next one.